Okay. We're gonna do the in cab inspection. Make sure the brakes are set. Turn to neutral. Clutch in. Key on. ABS. The ABS light should come on. Should come off shortly. If it stays long, should indicate a fault in the ABS system. My key by the hand, or my hand by the key. Um, start up the unit by my hand. Wait until the oil pressure goes up to operating range. Ease off the clutch to make sure it's in neutral. Uh, we're going to talk about three major gauges. The water should be 150 to 210. Oil is 20 to 60. Bolts 12 to 14. Seat belt is securely mounted. Uh, not cut, torn, or frayed. Latches. And I'm not properly. Uh, you got three reflective triangles uh, in good condition. A 10 pound ABC fire extinguisher. Um, fully charged, up to date, safety pin present, in the immediate reach of the driver and the side compartment clear of the mark. The unit should be equipped with spare fuses. If not, it should have circuit breakers. Okay. Those were the three major things, and then we're going to go with the steering wheel. The steering wheel should have no more than 10 degrees or 2 inches. Free plan a 20 inch steering wheel. Sitting uh, horn, air horn. Uh, also, with the steering wheel, it's secure the mountain, not cracked, been broken. Uh, pedals are well grooved, free of oil, grease, and debris, and obstructions. Clutch, no more than one, two inches of free play. And brakes are firm to the touch, uh, not spongy. Okay, just kind of going through. Next, we're going to do our panel lights. Turn off the headlights and the marker lights on. We have right, dim for the panels, left turn signal, right turn signal, high beams. And then four way flashers. Talk about the windshield. Clean, uh, not cracked or broken, free of uh, obstructions and debris, and free of stickers, uh, of illegal stickers. Turn it on. Uh, wiper blades are secure, not cracked or broken, and work like they should. Wiper motor uh, works like it should. Mirrors are securely mounted, uh, not cracked or broken, uh, free of obstructions, debris, and adjusted to me. Next, we're going to do our defroster. Make sure the it's on four pot defroster. Red cake works. Now I'm going to take a minute to make sure I can Set everything. Talk about the mirrors. Talk about the windshield. That circuit breakers. One, two, three, four, five. Talk about that. Talk about that. ABS system. We did talk about that. Well, that, that, and that. That includes that until you get to your uh, brake system. Uh, to your spring brake test. Next, we're going to do the spring brake test. First, we're going to set it up. Clutch in the low first gear. We're going to try it. We're going to do it against the tractor. So, we're going to push in the red knob, make sure the yellow knob's out. Ease off the clutch, make a little slight tug. Good. Next, we're going to do the trailer. Set the tractor, or set the trailer, release the tractor. Ease off the clutch. Okay. Next will be a hand service valve. Make sure these are all pushed in. Easing off the clutch. Next will be your foot combination. 
now, you're going to move three to five mile an hour. Your hands hover on the steering wheel. Uh, you're going to press the clutch in, currently press the brake. If the steering wheel goes left or right, it should indicate one of four things. It should indicate low tire, bad suspension, brakes out adjustment, or shift to the below. What are you doing on this one? Oh, brakes didn't release, so I'm just uh, building up the air pressure. back on. I don't know if the frosters didn't get here any leaks. First is going to be your static. Then you're going to press the trailer and tractor in. Then you're going to say after the initial 10 to, 10 to 15 psi loss, you're not going to lose no more than 3 psi per minute. Then instructor is going to then say uh, your minute is up. Next would be your applied. Firm push on the combination foot brake. Again, you're gonna say after the initial 10 to 15 PSI loss, you're not gonna lose no more than four PSI per minute. Okay, your minute's up. Next is your low air and buzzer. Should come on at or above 60 PSI by fanning the brakes. That came on about 70 PSI. Next should be the emergency valves. Um, trailer should be should pop out 45 to 20 psi. Tractor or yeah, tractor is 40 to 20 psi. Trailer valve should pop out first. When you're doing this, make sure that you're watching your valves, not your gauges. Trailer valve did pop out first, and they both went on about 30 psi. Next is going to be your air recovery. So you're going to do a safe start. Make sure both brakes are set. Neutral. Key is on. The unit. Both brakes are pulled out. Yep. All right. Full pressure in operating range. Ease off the clutch. Now. With your air recovery, you're going to say it's from zero to, to zero to 80 psi in three and three and a half minutes, 85 to 100 in 45 seconds at idle, 90 to 100 when the governor kicks in, and 120 to 125 when the, get to when the governor kicks out. If the governor does not kick out, the safety release valve should pop out at 150 to uh, keep the air system from damage. And that includes my end cap and it builds up some tireless buzzer. 
So you're building up air by pressing gas. Yeah. Um, I'm just doing this. I'm done with my egg tab. Um, I'm just tired of listening to the buzzer. And the low air light and buzzer should go off once the air builds up. And it went off. Yeah, after you say about your air recovery, that, that, that's it. Other than that, that's, that's your egg tab. I don't think I'm missing anything. Fall out. Okay. When you start, ready for your boy. Alright. Who's this? Am I? Is yours? No. Where'd you get a coffee for? This probably he is. Alright. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah, he got a pick.